So I'm coming at you from underneath the shed. I'm below the house with Zoe Girl. No little shed update. We started on the plumbing. Stepdad's been helping out a lot, so um, I've done some of the work, but he's actually done quite a bit. Um, so we're using PEX tubing. We've got the red and the white. Red's for hot, obviously. White is for cold. And this elbow right here, we use a crimp tool um, to get those sealed up. We go on through here, and that's going to go over to our kitchen. Then we have it going the other way. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's the red, and then the white's on that side. It goes all the way down there. That's going to go into our kitchen. And then, follow that all the way down. Uh, so we can get down that way. There we go. So we'll follow it all the way down there to the end. That's going to come up to the master bedroom, or which is where our tankless water heater is going to be. Still got to do all the PVC for the drainage and the septic and all that. But that's how we did this. One of the things we did, we have it um, clamped next to the skids there. And then through here, we're going through the two by fours. So if we ever need to move it, in case we sell our property, go somewhere else, um, we just unplug it. Sorry if it's going around for super circles. We'll just unplug it down there. So in case that was kind of all over the place with me twisting the video, run the pegs to me from down there all the way here. We've got the T's right there. Going this way there for the kitchen. And then, oh, sorry, that way for the bathroom. So now let's go inside. Okay, so we're inside the house and I want to take a quick minute to show you these barn doors that we're going to do for pocket doors. This one here is a 28 inch right here. And then this one over here, actually that was a 32 inch. Then I have this one here, which is the 22 inch pocket door right there. So at Lowe's are about $700. We went some building surplus. You could have got a non-stain Alderwood barn door for about um, a surplus door. So about $369 for a 28 inch. And then it was going to be uh, $420, I believe, for a 32 inch. So we found this guy. In Fort Worth, so if you're in the DFW area and you're wanting barn doors, um, shoot me a message and I can definitely give you his contact information. He does great work. And I got both of these doors stained and delivered to my house because he was close to us for less than the cost of one barn door. And I think it's going to look really good when we get it all put up. But now, kind of show you, we were underneath the house, hard in the mess. But down below, this is where the water comes up from the back part. This is the master bedroom. And then these two um, will be connected to the tankless water heater. It's actually going to be installed on the outside. Um, then over here to the right will be where our closet is and we're going to have the washer and dryer combo right there I'm trying to decide whether we're going to drill holes through the two by fours bend it around to this spot here but like you saw down below it would be easier just to go through the underneath it and then come up right down there that's also, I think it's going to be easier and uh, use less tubing as well. So that's probably what we'll end up doing. Then over here is the tubing for the 
shower. We just have them tacked so they're out of the way. But that's going to go to the overhead shower. Goes around here. This little area right there is going to be a closet. And uh, so I need to fix that a little bit better so it's more enclosed. And then you have the come up for the toilet and for the vanity right there. Over here in the kitchen, which is where it teed off. We got our hot and cold coming up through there. It's going to go to the sink. We also have the plug there for the garbage disposal. It's going to go through the wall there and behind the barn door. And you can see the blue tape, some previous videos. That's where our um, cabinets are going to be. So we got it tacked up there on the wall. But what I'm going to do is build the pony wall right through here and have the tubes go through it and connect to the washer and dryer. Or connect to the dishwasher, not the washer and dryer. So this is where the dishwasher will be. And we'll also run some electric there for a play. Then I'll just kind of show you this over here. This is a better view. So the tubing for the vanity, toilet, and then the shower right there. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, suggestions, uh, please leave them below. And please click subscribe. Thanks for watching.